time, and water. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers is teaming up with state and local entities in the fight to save the town of Hamburg, Iowa. On Monday, June 13th, Federal Levy 575 experienced a full breach, sending floodwaters in the direction of the town. Levy 575 previously had experienced three partial breaches, prompting the Corps to begin construction of a second line of defense with the Ditch 6 levee at the outskirts of the town. The breaches are actually five miles from, from this site, so the water is you know slowly working its way across here. What we've done is uh, we've remodeled everything with the uh, full breach and the width of that breach and the current stages of the river. What we did is we changed the uh, height of this levee from 916 to 919. The sponsor requested uh, permission to notch the levee below and below the actual breach. That'll allow some of the water to flow back into the river versus flowing back this direction. That's only a temporary slowdown. It will eventually reach the same elevation but it gives us a little more time here. A variety of temporary protective measures are being used in an effort to keep the town dry, including both earthen levees and HESCO barriers. What we're doing here is the uh, Highway 29 is the low point in the, uh, the defense that we're putting in here, the Ditch 6 levee. And so what they're doing is raising it up with HESCO bastions on the, uh, the edge of I-29 here. So you can see they're filled with sand. The uh, Iowa National Guard is undertaking this effort. So what you see here are the filled HESCOs. If you look over here, you can see they're doing the final touches as they're draping the poly over the top of the HESCOs, putting sandbags on top, and that creates that impermeable layer that the water can't get through. Current predictions show the water arriving at the toe of the Ditch 6 levee on Wednesday afternoon. The work on raising the height of the Ditch 6 levee should be completed Wednesday evening as the waters begin to rise against it. The effort is immense, with roughly 3.23 miles of levee being raised several feet. And I think this is an extraordinary effort between the local community, the Corps of Engineers, our contracting folks, our construction management, and the contractor itself, again, and with the National Guard here. So you got a number of forces working together very efficiently and effectively, well coordinated, and, and really. The uh, proof of the pudding is all the work that you've seen today that uh, they're getting the job done. Amazing effort. Very well done. The Corps remains committed to the fight and will continue to provide technical assistance to local, state, and tribal entities as the summer continues. To find out more about the Corps' efforts, follow us on Facebook and Twitter.